initial public offering a very exciting way to make money hi guys my name is karan and in today's video i will talk about my journey my first ipo experience so this i am talking about 2007 i was in the office and uh, there was one stall which was uh, which was there in the cafeteria and they were promoting icici bank ipo so these were the initial initial years of my career and I, and i was very curious because i saw my father buying some shares and all those things shares and company deposits so i was i was there was curiosity when i was in college i used to flip through the newspaper and see the uh, stock prices of different companies just for fun sake right because i did because of my father because he used to buy those magazines and see the stock prices and all so my first ipo experience okay i was in the cafeteria and over there uh, i saw this stall and i just walked up to them and they explained me briefly what ipo is all about so i think if i remember the the amount correctly it was around 700 rupees for one 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 equity share and uh, i think the investment was around 20000 if i remember it correctly so don't quote the numbers okay just understand the logic whether that ipo experience was good or not we will talk about that so i had no demand at that point in time so uh, what happened i just got curious we were having a conversation in the office and then a uh, few of the other few of my other friends were also applying for ipo icici bank uh, ipo so i also called that that guy who was at the counter he came to my house with a dmat form because i never had a dmat account as well so ipo had to come to the dmat accounts so i was talking about a time where there were no online stuff everything was through the broker you had to call the broker manually and tell them i want to buy this share buy this for me i want to sell these shares sell this for me so everything was through the phone you had a relationship manager so this guy came to my house he gave me a form i filled the form uh, of uh, ipo and also the dmat so both of them so at that time my uh, my dmat was with uh, india bulls right india bulls so i got a india bulls dmat account and i i i got a number and uh, fortunately i got the ipo as well uh, i paid the amount and those shares were credited to my uh, uh, account so that's the journey my first stock was icici bank but <laughs> okay so after that i could see the volatility in the market every day every few days i used to check the stock price sometime it is going down sometimes it is going up going down going up i was i was crazy because my 20000 see the 20000 was a big amount for me at that point of time it was big amount for me maybe um, maybe two months salary right so um, so that uh, money was going up and down up and down every every uh, month every day maybe because of lot of volatility maybe 2007 8 these were volatile years stock market was going up and down so trust me there was a time when my investment was halved i think 2008 2008 8 uh, between 8 and 9 so this i think the icici stock came down to rupees 250 imagine something which was around 600 700 came down to 250 i was like shattered what is this but what option i had what option will you have if your investment is halved think about it i invested in a property because of x y z reasons it could be government change it could be a macroeconomic factor it could be wars it could be pandemic if the property value is halved what will you do you will have two options right option number one was to sell it off and uh, just spread negativity that do not invest in ipos step number 2 was to um uh just ignore it and trust me step number 2 is very difficult i think it is the most difficult thing to do for any person is to ignore your loss okay guys till the time you are not uh completely destroyed completely messed up if you can just uh, ignore your stock you know just ignore i just ignored it because i had no option i was already uh, uh sitting at a 50% loss 
so i thought okay let me just leave it because i had no knowledge about how stock market work functions how the volatility function maybe the bank will bounce back because the bank was good it, it's a big brand right india's number 2 um, uh, private sector bank after hdfc so i had no option but to just leave the stock where it was year past a couple of year past i wanted money in 2010 because of some situation right end of 2010 yes i remember categorically this stock was trading at 1500 so my investment was doubled 20000 became 40000 in 3 and a half years i do not know i made a profit i called up my broker i told him that okay boss i want money sell off all my shares he sold off my shares i got the money in my account in in a couple of 2 3 days so i was damn happy because there was a need and i got money so i learned few things which i will talk about now number 1 select a good company i was fortunate that i got into a good company i did no research trust me no research someone told me and i made profit i will make one more video when someone told me and i made huge loss okay okay so company was good number 2 bank i was not scared of volatility because volatility is the you know up and down of the stock is the fees which you give to the market i learned about volatility i learned about patience i have to be patient i have to ignore my loss loss divert my mind towards something else maybe go out and smell the roses every day i should not check the stock price that's the fourth learning don't check the stock price every day because it will only give you more tension check it maybe once in a maybe once in two weeks okay once in a month maybe that is difficult part because your money is on the line but try doing it there are more things to do in life than mar- than investing in stocks go out with your family maybe go out take take a walk so that was my fourth learning guys I learned about patience. I learned about volatility. I I learned about uh, not tracking the market on a daily basis. But yeah, I was rewarded handsomely after uh, three and a half years, thanks to the bank. Uh, so I hope you will get something out of this video, and uh, do tell me in the comment section if you have any experience in IPO. Please share. We can learn from each other because this is something where. nobody is perfect i am learning every single day guys i make mistakes even today i have lost a lot of money on lot of shares so sitting on losses as well profits as well it's a mixed bag right <laughs> so i'll keep sharing my experiences with you you take care guys um, and um, i'll see you in my next video thumbs up bye